I mean, you know, it feels way different. Uh, don't got to get used to things anymore. I already know the routine, know the vibe. Um, that's always a place, you know, you feel more comfortable, you play more comfortable. You feel like the knees all the way back? Yeah, definitely. I feel like the knees all the way back. Uh, the thing I do is stay on top of it and then maintain it. Taylor said that for him, it was last year was a struggle just coming mm -hmm. off the knee injury. Did you kind of feel the same way that, it was, that things didn't come as natural maybe as they would have if you were no, nah, for sure. You know, it's always uh, it's, it's part of the process, part of the recovery process. You know, things happen, take longer than I expect. That you know, your mind is telling you one thing, but your body is telling you another. So, you got to be prepared for that. Um, we had two guys in a similar situation. So, you know, uh, speaking on myself, I know I'm going to play a whole lot better this year. Now that you are fully healthy, what's next for you? How can you, you know, elevate your impact on hmm. the defense? But you know, uh, knowing the calls, you know, playing my technique and just impacting the game in the most possible ways I can. You know, being disruptive, being very disruptive in the run, very disruptive in the pass. Uh, standing out on film, going out there and just working hard in the practice every day, and uh, being back to myself. When did you sort of start trusting trust the knee a little bit more, but when in your mind, when did you start to say, okay, it's... Uh, like towards, the, I say in the playoff game, uh, okay. playoff game, that's when that's when things started to really unfold, you know, it started feeling a little bit better. Then going into this offseason, you know, I had a lot of opportunities to go and start to keep rehabbing and, uh, and, and continue that, on that on their leap. And when you feel, what you feel now, when you look back to last year, do you see a bit? Yeah, way different, man, way different. Feels way better. You know, confidence is a different level. Uh, that's all it takes to play this game. Your confidence is how you're going to play, play at a different level. What was the first part of this offseason like as far as putting last year behind you and kind of turning the focus to this year? What's kind of mm -hmm. been your motivation? Uh, you know, just being able to spring, spring, spring forward on what we left out on the field last year. You know, as collective as a group, seeing a lot of great guys around me. Uh, knowing how guys play, you know, seeing that, seeing that advantage that we can have up front, uh, continuing that, and continuing that progress, and then with myself, with myself being included, you know, going out there making a different impact on the game, key pieces, key times in the game, uh, making impact plays. What's next for that front four? Collectively? No, continue to continue to latch our bond closer and closer. We got to do it off the field. Don't start on the field. We can't come out here every. Uh, we can't just come out here on game day and think we'll bu uh, build a bond. We got to do it off the field. We got to link up. Uh, guys got to continue to um, to know each other, family outside of the field. You know, and that way we build that bond and chemistry as well. Well, you got Jeff, and you know what's up with him. Yeah, man, Jeff is you no know, Jeff is tremendous. A great guy. Uh, he'll continue to be around, and you know we'll continue to build that bond. What way have you been training, and what's kind of been the focus, you know, so far this off season? Uh, been focused this off season, you know, just you know, um, my, get my mobility back in my knee, uh, get my bend back on my stance, powerful off the ball. Uh, as well as turning the corner better, you know, uh, getting low on the, on the, at the top of the at the top of the rush. You know, that's some things that were fundamental prior to the injury. But you got to make sure you continue to do those things coming back to, to retrain the brain. But how, how was that time that you spent with uh, Chuck Smith, the pass rush doctor? How, how that yeah, going? man, Chuck is Chuck is always doing good for me, man. You know, he's always been that guy who who I go to for my uh, foundation pieces. Uh, helps me out tremendously in the off season. Even during the season, he'll call me and check on me sometimes, and you know, just plays part of a good role. Paul asked about the next step for you guys, just since everyone is back from an anticipation and excitement level. What's what's that like for you, knowing what you guys could be capable of? No, it's exciting, very exciting. I, I think it's you no know, everyone wants to uh, you know see how we're going to bounce back off last year. Uh, was it a fluke? Was it not? You know, a lot of people want to see that. So you know, we got to continue to dominate and to show that we are present in the league. When did you first kind of get the sense for what that front four was going to be capable of? Mm, I'll say I'll say last camp, beginning of the camp, seeing those guys how they were flying around. Making plays during a camp, you know, whatever happens in the camps, you know, use the transitions over, especially the guys that help you. I mean, yeah, that's what I try to go and do every day. I mean, it starts with, you know, operation and operating the huddle, uh, letting everybody know what they need to do and just being assertive and confident when you do it. And I feel like I'm definitely getting better with that. And I just got to continue to grow on that same linear path. You know what I mean? We want to keep going up. We don't want to go down. What was it like for you, Malik, when you first got out here as far as how fast things were going? And ever overwhelmed and now you feel like you got your footing a little bit better? I feel like it's, it's more different than overwhelmed. It's just a little different. Uh, football is football, but just getting the different terminology and making sure you're at the right place at the right time and making sure you understand all the timing and stuff that come with it, the different receivers, how fast they are, and just all those type of things to go into it. So it's just a process, you know? How, how's your consistency play to play, do you feel like? I feel like it's good and try to do each play as good as you can, I mean, for real, for real. It's a game where each play has no bearings on the last one, so just try to continue on that. What are maybe some of the new guys that came back from the mini camp today? Did you get a chance to meet some guys you had not met before? What kind of things are they saying to you? Um, they just saying continue to work hard. They excited I'm here and just, you know, being good teammates and whatnot. So I feel like that was pretty cool of them.
the league, being in the QB room with, with Logan and Ryan at this point, what are some of maybe the things you've picked up from them in the meeting rooms or even out here on the field? Well, more than anything, I probably pick up just how they uh, operate in the huddle. That's what I've been focused on at first, but I was using that and just listening and watching them, how they operate in the huddle and what are the ins and outs of that and just focusing on that. Uh, uh, second off, and studying is just on your own. So I feel like you learn the plays, how you learn them. So you're not really picking anything up from that for somebody else. Mostly, yes. So how much of a change is that what you're doing? I mean, more than anything, it's just, I don't know, it's not that big a deal. I mean, it was a big deal at first, but once you get going on something every day, it starts to come second nature. And I just feel like reps and reps and reps are helpful. How are you coming along as far as some of the mechanics and, and those things that they're working with, with uh, individual? How is that transferring into you know team and 7 on 7? More than anything, they're just working on the fundamentals of uh, footwork and just making sure they tied into where I'm trying to go with the ball. So I feel like that's been going good as well. What so do you it's feel like, like it? It's, it's kind of like becoming second nature, muscle memory, et cetera. Yeah, that's what it's about, just getting those reps in every day. How was the biggest thing you feel like you've improved on since you got here? And what's the biggest thing you still want to try and focus on more on? I feel like I'm trying to improve in every aspect of my game, and I feel like that's what I'm trying to do every day. So I feel like that's what I've been growing at, not only the procedure, but also just fundamentals and uh, just getting to know my guys and how fast everybody is. And I feel like the whole thing, is, it's not really one thing you focus on, it's the whole thing. and how you are a complete player? Uh, obviously, you got to start with conditioning, uh, just being more stronger, um, being quick. And then obviously, like I said with this question over there, uh, being able to hone in on the little details uh, with each play, uh, not just know what I do, but understand the whole offense. Let me say, how much has your body changed from when you first came into the league? Uh, I would say a lot. Uh, I put a lot of emphasis on that uh, when it comes to my diet, um, just researching things, and you know, I feel like it's starting to pay off. How have you seen it change? Yeah, I was both thinner and bigger. Uh, I was able to keep my weight while also adding muscle. So, um, you know, I'm just excited. Feel faster? I, I do. I feel great. I so feel how, great. How did, how did the diet look different? Like, what did you cut out or maybe what did you add to, to change your body? Yeah, so I added a nutritionist and I added a personal chef for myself. So, you know, everything we do is uh, strategic in a way um, from, from, from January till now. So I'll be able to carry that to the season. You know, it's going to make a huge difference, I feel. What's your, what's your input on what that strategy is versus just listening to what the nutritionist says? Say it one more time, I'm sorry. Do you have an input on what that meal plan yeah, is? Yeah. Uh, what they just tell you? Uh, I would say, I've, of course, I might put it. At the end of the day, you know, I'm paying for everything. So I got to, <laughs> I gotta, uh, you know, make sure everything, you know, I, I like it too. Yeah. But, um, you know, just educating myself on it too, uh, understanding what I'm putting in my body, you know, what you know, could be best for me on Monday compared to Saturday before the game. You know, just little things like that. This year, 440, is that right? Yes, sir. Hard to believe in some way. <laughs> and just when you see yourself as a player now, just how much different are you from when you first came in the league? Uh, I was actually thinking about that last night. It's nine day. Um, you know, I was kind of wide eyed, just uh, just trying to figure out my role and, you know, figure out the city. And, you know, just a lot going on. But now it's more comfortable. Uh, I understand what I need to do for this team. I understand. Um, where I need to be, uh, you know, how to conduct myself off the field as well as on the field. So I say a big difference. You know, critical, maybe you're still, I mean, maybe more of a perfectionist now where you, can't, you were kind of learning things on the fly when you first got here. Yeah, but I'm always, a, I was always a perfectionist. As I'm going back to when I started football when I was seven years old, um, I'm probably my worst critic. Um, so uh, just being able, like I said, just being able to hone in on those little details will just help out a lot. Nate, I apologize if you were but last year, can you just characterize some of the other things that you were dealing with as you went through the season? Uh, you know, it was just normal stuff that you guys saw, like COVID. Um, you know, that, that definitely hit, and it's real. Uh, so just being able to bounce back from that, you know, have a full season where I don't have to worry about that, most hopefully, you know, God willing, um, will be awesome. How long and how did it affect you? Uh, getting it twice, you know, affects you. Um, you know, your, your conditioning, your strength. And even a little bit of your confidence, because you know it's you know there's a reason why COVID is you know huge in, in the United States and in the world in general. Yeah, man, it's just awesome going against like the one of the best safeties every day in the league. So this is a great opportunity to go out there, you know, just iron sharpens iron. You know, going against the best, you know, trying to become as good as I can be. So I know if I want to have success in the league, I gotta have success against him in practice. So that was really cool to be able to run that route on him and win it. How much you feel like you progressed maybe from the time off season? I think I've progressed a ton, especially in like when it comes to the other things, you know, the not the not physical part of the game where you know you got to learn, you got to think. 
you got to see fronts, you got to see, you got to be able to know the play because there's different, you know, conversions on certain plays against certain coverages. So definitely in that aspect, I think I've grown a ton of, since I've been here. How much of things kind of ramped up here now that uh, all the veterans are in? Um, we're still on the same schedule as we've been on uh, back in OTA. So for us, it really feels like the same. You know, we just got we just got everybody back. So it's cool to have you know everybody back in the, in the building. How much they've been stressing kind of blocking concepts for y'all, Sergio? And how do you feel like you're, you're coming along? Oh yeah, I mean that's that's our number one thing. You know, we're a run first team, so that's the number one thing that we stress. You know, we're just working on it every day with the tackles down in Indy. And you know, definitely we're making strides there and improving there as well. Has, has Tim Kelly been been working with you guys a lot? It just looks from, from observation, yeah. looks like he's been working a lot. Yeah, he's been working with us. Are things slowing down for you uh, since uh, you know first time around here to now? Uh, I'll say, yeah. But then you know, every day we add in new stuff, so it's not really slowing down. It's, it's every day is fast. You got to go home and study your stuff. What do you think? What, what's important measure for you once once you leave here? In a couple of weeks to the top training camp start. I'll say definitely working out in the heat. You got to be somewhere that's hot because, as you see right now, it's, it's only we just started. And, you know, by the time training camp is going to be 100 every day. So just working out in the heat and making sure you're ready to, you know, play in the heat. Where's that spot for you? It's probably going to be Georgia. Yeah. That's where I'm from. You know, so I get super hot there, so I can just work out there. I feel way more confident. You know, just knowing the plays, uh, just just playing without thinking. You know, so I feel like I'm just getting my my confidence back. Did you meet Eddie George when he was out here a week ago? Who? Eddie George. Oh, yeah, I met him. Yeah, I talked to him a little bit, you know. So, yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. What did he say to you? Uh, he said, go go Bucks. <laughs> you know, so he just gave me a little little hard time, but it's all good. He didn't give you some words of encouragement as well? Uh, I mean, I ain't talked to him too long, but um, he talked to the whole team at the end, you know, just giving us a few pointers and stuff like that, you know, so. I think most people. You know, first thing they'll think of with the Titans is, is Derek in the run game. And, and so when you when you come here and you find out it's going to be Tennessee, is that what, is that what you thought too? Uh, wait, repeat that for me. Yeah, people. I think most people look at the Titans and they see they think of Derek in the run game. And that's mm. kind of their identity. Is that what you thought too when you when you came here? Yeah, yeah just uh, you know they they love to run a, run the ball. You know, so hopefully uh, I get my opportunity. You know, to to play on game day and uh, get my opportunity to run the ball. You know, so. Just, just, uh, just getting a role on this team, you know. So. You meet Derek, I guess, for the first time today. Yeah, today, for the what, first time. What is that like? I mean, and, and how, as a, as a rookie, how do you kind of learn from him? I mean, do you watch him? Do you ask him questions? And he mm -hmm. says you yet? Yeah, I definitely watch him. Uh, all his moves, you know, just see how he how he is. He's he's a super cool dude, you know. Uh, yeah, just asking him questions. You know, he was talking to me out here a little bit today. Uh, so, super cool dude. I just want to, you know, keep uh, picking his brain and just getting better. Like, like most of us watch <laughs> yeah, I seen it. Now it's 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 crazy. You know, I I'm, I might have to start doing that that type of workouts and training videos like that. Oh yeah, most definitely. Just bonding to the identity. Like since my rookie year, just coming in, just playing with just effing and finish. Like that's the identity of the team. So just bonding, listening to the vets, and just bonding to that culture has helped me get to where I'm at now. Do you do anything different from a body standpoint as far as getting bigger, stronger, and, and have you done it if so? Um, I say the biggest thing now is me working on my diet. Yeah, like work-wise, I'm still working the same as I always have. Just that diet part. And diet probably about 75% of all the work you put in. And what, what are you doing that's maybe different? Just meal prepping, and that's all. Oh, I mean, I'm just the kind of player I am. I'm more smaller, quick twitch, explosive, and so I just work with what I got. I know I'm strong for my size, and I'm fast as well, so work with what I do. Does that work a little motivation, too, with what people say? Hey, me, probably not big enough. Oh, yeah, I didn't heard that forever since from high school all the way to this point now. It have not stopped me then. It's not going to stop me now. What were you when you came in the league? How far is how much you weighed? Um, when I first came out, I was about 290. Like when I started the process, like pre draft training, I was probably about 275. And so about the time the season came around, I was 290. What are, thinking, what, are you, what are you now? Right now, about the same, 290. Okay. Yeah, it's a comfortable way for me. What do you thought's been on uh, Jamarco? You get to know him a little bit? Yeah, he's he a cool guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, great guy, work hard. He compete and hey, that's what we're doing now, just competing for the spot.